Thank you for watching this Dear Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll explore the integration of Google G Suite with Deer Inventory. Customers that use Google's Business Suite can use Deer's G Suite integration to perform the following actions. Google Drive linking, which is adding or linking files directly from Google Drive to Deer, exporting report data from Deer to Google Sheets, and exporting contacts from Deer to Google Contacts and Gmail. Before you connect Deer to G Suite, You'll first need to log into your Google account. Navigate to the Integrations module in Deer, scroll to the bottom of the page, then select G Suite. If you're not already signed into any Google account, you'll be prompted to do so now. Otherwise, select the Connect button and choose from which account you wish to connect to from the list of signed in Google accounts, noting that you can only connect to one G Suite account at a time. Then, press Allow to grant Deer full access permissions to Google Drive files and Google Contacts. In the Setup tab, several integration settings can be customised. The Synchronisation Contacts from Deer to Google button facilitates exporting of customers or supplier contacts from Deer to G Suite. Enabling the setting will display the Contacts tab. Next, the Export Data from Deer to Google Drive when printing or emailing button will facilitate the exporting or printing of email documents from Deer to Google Drive. Enabling this setting will automatically export documents to Google Drive when the Print or Email option is selected on various pages in Deer, for example on Sales or Purchase Orders. There are two types of folders that can map with your Google Drive, the Data Export and the Report Export folder. When this setting is enabled, a Data Export Folder drop-down will appear for you to select the default Google Drive location where all these exported documents should be stored. Choosing a location here is compulsory once the setting is toggled on, and the setting won't be enabled until this step has been completed. If you've already printed or emailed a document from a task within Deer and need to do it again for any reason, Deer will save the most recent file overriding the previous file. Also, select the default Report Export Folder location that all the individual reports should be exported to. For this option, you can keep the value set to None if you wish to choose different locations each time a report is exported. Select Save and move on to the Contacts tab. Customers and supplier details are exported to G Suite from the Contacts tab. The Contacts tab is only available when you enable synchronised contacts from Deer to Google during the initial account setup. To be selective with the contacts you wish to export to your Google account, first make sure you have created labels in your Google Contacts account. To create a label, open Contacts. Then, on the left menu pane, under Labels, select Create a Label. Give your label a name. In this example, we'll call this label Dear Suppliers and then select Save. Dear Contacts can be filtered by Active, Inactive status or supplier or customer contact types. For example, if you want to sync active suppliers, filter by active in the status and by supplier in the Deer contact type field. Select which G Suite label to apply to the contacts and select Start to begin the export. Once the contact synchronization is completed, a message will be displayed showing the number of new contacts created and the number of updated or failed contacts, if any. If you want to sync your customers, just repeat those steps, starting with creating a label in Google Contacts. When G Suite integration is connected, it is possible to attach documents from Google Drive to any area of Deer where attachments can be uploaded. Let's attach a file to a purchase order. Navigate to the Purchase module, Purchases, and open any PO from the list. Open the Attachments tab and select Attach from Google Drive. Select the relevant file in Google Drive to attach noting you can attach files of any format. Once the attachment is complete, you can either download or open the file. Note that if you remove an attached file from the Google Drive location, the existing link in Deer will be broken. In this instance, attempting to download the removed file will instead download the last updated version of the file if one existed before you removed it from Google Drive. If you do select Open File and the file is no longer in the folder, Deer will notify you that the file has been removed from the location via an error message. Attachments can be easily removed by selecting the Delete button on the far right side. Also, when G Suite integration is connected, the option Export Save to Google Drive is available for every report in the Reports module. 
you'll be prompted to select a file format and export location. Navigate to the Reports module, open any report, select the Export button and choose Google Drive. In the pop-up window, you can select the save location within Google Drive and also the file format. The report will be saved to your local machine and also to the selected folder in Google Drive. Likewise, in the Report Scheduling module, a Save to Google Drive option will be available. You can select where the generated report should be stored. Navigate to Settings, Automation, then Report Scheduling. Select the plus button to create a new report schedule, and in the pop-up window, toggle Save to Google Drive. Then, choose the export location for every time the report is generated. Note that if you don't select a location and leave the value as none, the scheduled reports will not be exported to Google Drive as intended. In this case, the reports will only be emailed. The last tab in the G Suite integration page is the Log tab. Here you can view a log of all previous synchronizations and exports. Select Refresh to update and show the most recent data. The History Log Grid contains all sync and export operations. Each time you download or upload customers or suppliers from Deer to G Suite and vice versa. A record is added to the operations log containing information such as download results, the total number of downloaded or updated items, and the date and time when the record occurred. And that concludes the G Suite integration with Deer Tutorial.